four actions not to take when you get anxious. We all have experienced anxiety at some point in our life, and it is never a pleasant experience. You can identify anxiety by an increased heart rate, a quickening of your breath, and the feeling of butterflies in your stomach. You may also feel constriction or a lump in your throat and chest. It also affects your state of mind, and you may find yourself on guard or having walls in place around other people. You may experience a feeling similar to mania, with your thoughts scattered and frequent. These reactions and responses are all common and are there when we are in a stressful and anxiety-inducing situation. This is our brain's response to this type of situation, commonly referred to as the fight-or-flight mode. You may also experience a type of inability to act with the lessened response time. Your first reaction may be to remove the anxiety in any way possible, but most likely that won't work. A lot of the common ways that you may respond to the feeling of anxiety are not not helpful and can even make it worse. Below are four unhelpful ways of dealing with anxiety to keep in mind. Before we dive into it, please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on similar videos. Hit the notification button so that you can be notified every time we post a video. Number one, trying to make the anxiety go away. Simply put, this is a common thing that a lot of people may try, but it does not work. Anxiety is a powerful force, and you can't simply make it go away by wishing it wasn't affecting you at that particular time. Both fear and anxiety are such a part of our DNA now because of our ancestors. With evolution, our strongest ancestors were able to cope with the dangers they faced with stronger response times. Because of this, their genes were passed down to us. Anxiety is there to warn us that there is something we should probably pay attention to survive. When this happens, your brain will release more cortisol, which triggers the fight or flight response. While it may be a false alarm, you should always pay attention to it. Number two, looking for reassurance. A lot of us have the response of looking for information regarding our anxiety symptoms, in the hopes that we will be able to find some way to feel in control and safe again. The main issue with anxiety is that it's the internal feeling of what is going as relates to your surroundings, which you may have no real control over. Life is full of surprises and hidden threats. There is a lot that could happen in any given moment that you would have not prepared yourself for. Additionally, there are rarely any concrete answers to the complicated problems that we can come across. For instance, if your spouse or partner is pulling away, this could be a sign that the relationship is in trouble, even if they reassure you that everything is fine. There is no way to know what is coming in even the near future, and when you look for information to make you feel better, you are making yourself susceptible to more worry and stress. As an example, many symptoms online may be nothing, such as fatigue, but you will find the articles state this can be an underlying cause of something serious. Number 3. Ruminating and Worrying Worrying and anxiety go hand in hand. A lot of us will generally respond to the anxiety that we are feeling by worrying and overthinking the situation we are in. While some introspection and careful thinking are ideal for any situation, overthinking can lead to decisions that won't be helpful. When you start to focus too much on a stressful situation that you have little control over, you will start to doubt yourself. You may start to feel out of control and hyper-focus, checking your phone or email every few minutes. This is not a helpful behavior for the situation. Number four, avoiding. When you start to feel anxiety, your body's natural fight or flight response will kick in, making you want to run away or escape the situation. You will feel the need to avoid the situation entirely, and in some instances, this can lead to bad behavior to forget the problem. While avoidance may seem to help at first, it will make your feelings of anxiety worse later on. Running away from the problem or stressful situation will cause it to be more difficult to face, especially if it happens again. You will start to perceive yourself as someone who simply can't cope with the situation, and because of this, it will start to feel debilitating. The correct response is not to avoid, but to face your fears. This will cause the fear you feel to lessen and will allow you to deal with the situation in positive ways. What should you do when you're anxious? 
The way that you should be dealing with anxiety is the opposite of what you may think. You should work on accepting that the anxiety is trying to tell you something and learn to accept it. You can't make anxiety simply go away. And avoidance is not the answer either. The only choice left is to live with it and learn for the future. The best and most effective way to do this is by allowing it to be a part of you. Observe it before reacting. Once you accept that your anxiety is a part of you, you can start to benefit from your relationship to it. You will start to be able to determine if there is a real threat or if you are simply overthinking the situation. You will be able to calmly come up with a solution to the problem and deal with the problem head on. If you are suffering from an extreme panic attack, stop what you are doing and focus on your breathing. Feel everything around you that is going on and determine if anything threatening to yourself is happening at this moment. When you do this, you will ground yourself and come back to peace despite the anxiety that you are experiencing. All right, that's it for the four actions not to take when you get anxious. If there is something I didn't mention, please let me know in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next video.